Uh, Mike Warnock, many congratulations, you're an All-Ireland champion. How does that feel? Ah, it's surreal, to be honest. Um, I don't know how to put it into words. He dreamt of this as a six, seven-year-old, you know, and we were always told in Glen we couldn't win a Derry Championship, and now to be standing three weeks or three years later after winning your first Derry Championship to be an All-Ireland champion, it was surreal, it's absolutely, I can't put it into words. Well, it looked like it wasn't going to be your day from where we were watching. Um, but you kept plugging away, and your point was a crucial one as well. Um, did you ever lose belief? Did you feel like you could find a way to win the game? Um, I never, funnily enough, I never thought we'd lost the game. I just, you know, we kept on the pitch. We were just keep going, keep going, and that's the attitude Malachy's uh, pushed in this. You know, a bit of this from the first day, step foot in the end was we'll keep going, we'll keep going. There'll be a game where we won it in the last minute. We'll just keep going, do not give up, um, and we did. You know, and none of us were having our best performance and probably my worst performance of the year. You know, Ben and Carroll. Give me a bit of a toasting in there, but look, it's just that attitude to keep going, and you just have to park it, you know. Um, and look, it's, it's unbelievable. Because having lost the final last year, it would have been easy to let that get on top of you there today. Oh, it's not going to be your day again. But I mean, you found a will, and that, coming to the air, coming to man, Conor Glass was a big goal for you. I ah, we're glad we've been back from Australia now, in fairness. Um, but look, what a performance! You talk about uh, leaders stepping up, you know. The, the big man, I think, you know, he's underrated, um, and people might disagree with me on that, but you know, but um, what you know, he's a brilliant player, but he's an even better teammate, you know. And um, look, I don't think he gets enough plaudits, to be honest. I, I thought he was absolutely amazing there, and he kept us in the game. Mm. Uh, what will it mean to you know the whole community of Manor Because I mean, the, the crowd here today, a huge crowd of them, um, and they've really got behind you over, over this whole journey, really, haven't they? Oh, they have, you know, even after uh, losing the Iron final last year, you know, it would have been tough to, to just throw the head up. Um, we took a bit of a, you know, a bit of six week break after it and got back on the journey, you know, but everybody around the town has just been so, so supportive. And even beyond that, the support we've had throughout Ireland is, uh, is absolutely unbelievable, even within our own county, other clubs and that, and the text messages from other club players that uh, we've played against, you know, absolutely unbelievable. It's, you just you can't put it into words what it's going to mean for our community. Um, you know, in particular, whenever we were wrote off, that whenever you were born into that community, that you couldn't win at all. And now the people that have said that can look on and see that everybody in Glen or anybody associated with Glen is an Iron Champion. What has it taken to come back from losing the final to win one? I mean, that's not an easy thing to do at all. Um, just game by game, to be honest. You know, it was quite cliche, but you just you get back onto the saddle, and get back training, and trying to become a better player than you were the year before. Um, Luckily, look, we get Kieran McFall back as well, which was Kieran's a massive, massive leader for us. He's one of the best players in Ireland, um, and he was huge the day as well. You know, he had a, he had a number of wides as well, but again, he just kept going, kept trying to push and push and push. We had a bit of luck with Big Connor's goal, to be honest. Um, Connor was probably kicked it too high. A few of us were giving him a ball in the field, going, "What are you doing?" <laughs> um, to be honest, but uh, look, it's a, a combination of that and three unbelievable hard years of hard work and years and years of work around the club. So you can't wait to get the cup back home now, can you? Aye, uh, buzzing away on honeymoon on Thursday. Um, so I'd be occupied to, to Thursday night, I would think, before we head off uh, and play to Dublin. So look, it's, it's, uh, life's good at the moment. Well done, Wayne, and enjoy the honeymoon. Thank you. Thanks very much.